All right, I'm ready. Coach, the second half, they scored 19 points in the second half. They were doing whatever they wanted to in the first half. What was the well, I thought they were terrific in the first half. I told the team at halftime that I, I thought we guarded well. I thought they made uh, shots and uh, uh, great college basketball game. I thought both teams played their hearts out. And, you know, they normally average making, what, seven threes in, in, a, in a game, and they made six in the first half. But, uh, and I thought some of them were tough shots. But uh, I just said, hey, this it's not going to be easy. It's not supposed to be easy. And uh, we stayed with it. And uh, the second half, uh, I do think that our – Full court uh, pressure helped us in the second half, turned them over a little bit. And uh, we, I think we scored off most of those turnovers to get out um, in the open court like that. But uh, it was really a, two teams that I thought uh, it's what March is about. You know, just battling every possession, physical game, and uh, we rebounded the ball better when we needed some stops we were able to get. Rick, a couple of weeks ago in Georgia, your post game was talking about those last five minutes where you felt like you guys got out tough, out rebounded. What was different down the stretch tonight? Well, we did get out tough, and that's what we told our guys. Uh, you know, they knew what they were playing for, and I really had talked about it. at some point in time we need to break through and beat Georgia. You know, we haven't done it since I've been here, and hadn't been done you know for a while. So uh, we talked a lot about that, and we talked about and we showed why we got out tough. And we said we got to take away those baskets as much as possible. And he makes such a terrific player. I mean, you've got to love him and respect everything about him. And the same, I, I told the guys about Mark Fox, I think he's a great basketball coach. I think his, his teams are hard to play against. He play high percentage basketball. And we knew it was going to be tough. We knew it would be. And, uh, but the difference was I think we were much tougher in, in the last seven, eight minutes than we were down, down in Athens. Give me Corey and Michael. Rick, what does it mean to go from last season when you don't even make postseason play to winning an SEC tournament? Well, I think it's a compliment to our players. I do, because uh, you know we came back from the SEC tournament last year. And we knew we had to make some changes in the program. We, we knew that the first thing we were going to have to do is get a group of guys that were totally bought in and you know two feet firmly planted in the program. And we came back in the hardest spring since I've been here. We. We, we went out that spring. We spent time on the track running, the things that I haven't done in 15 years as a coach, because we're going to find out who really wanted to be a part of this, because we feel like, you know, this is a great opportunity for somebody to be a part of it. And we said, you know, we, we, we expect to, to win. We expect to be playing in March. And I told him, I said, you know what, if, you know, we're not going to be on the court. We're going to, I'm going to let you know what it's like to be playing in March. And so we're going to work, you know, you don't ever want to be on spring break when you're a basketball player. Because you are, that means you're not in postseason play. So when they got back and there was, what, two and a half weeks of basketball season, I said, you guys better understand, we want to be playing this time next year. So we're going to work. And it was all conditioning. And we broke, uh, had a good spring, and uh, came back in the summer. It was good. And uh, the, trip in, the trip over in Europe helped us a lot, no doubt about it. And we started out the season. We, we knew we were going to end up playing one of the – you know, a very demanding schedule again. We knew that. But, uh, and, and we said, and, and there was a time where we got going where I think guys were worrying about winning, and we just started talking about if we play the way we're capable of playing the win, we'll take care of themselves. And, uh, but uh, we've gone through some uncharted areas with these guys. They've learned how to, you know, compete with a number in front of their name because of a ranking. And, um, you know what, they kept fighting. We, and I always said the last three or four weeks of the season because, you know, the, the conference race wasn't over. And we just said, hey, we, all we can do is get better, keep playing, and see how it plays out. And uh, we, uh, we knew it would be tough in here against Florida, found a way to win that game. And uh, we knew that swing through Mississippi at the end was going to be a tough one. And then we, obviously knowing that we had not beat George, what out? I, I told our coaches, if you look at our teams, that we had to play twice as 10 games. And I made the comment to them back in, uh, when we were getting ready to, before the season ever started. If we really want to be a contender, we've got to find a way to go 8-2 and two against those teams. We end up going 9-1. and one. Those, ten, those, those 10 games are really important on our schedule. With all the things we're playing, those 10 are really, really important. And the fact that we were able to go 9-1 and one is in, in itself a great accomplishment and the reason we are where we are right now. Coach, I haven't really seen what take it on himself. 
goes through your mind as a coach when you're watching something like that? He's an emotional player. You know, he is, but he's he's a junior. He, he's put his work in, and, I, and you know, we tell our guys all the time, you know, I, I, I respect, I, I, I mean, I know people work hard. But, you know, I always, I'm concerned about us. And, uh, and, and I want guys to work. And this time of year, you've got to measure it up, you know, pretty carefully in terms of, uh, and I'm a rhythm coach. I want our team to stay in rhythm. You know, I remember when we break at Christmas, that's a tough time because, you know, our schedules change. I think you know, I found out with this group, they're better. And they, we went through a period where we'd have a day off. We weren't very good in practice. Over the last couple of weeks, we've been better. And one day they complained about how hard we went. And I said, uh, you guys want to be pros, your body's supposed to be sore this time of year. And, uh, but from that point on, you know, we've had pretty intense practices, shorter, but to the point. And uh, I know a group of these guys got the better, better one night, got together one night and had a great meeting. And uh, that, that, I think it says it helped our team in a positive way. And so, uh, there's a lot. There's been a lot of growth with our team in a lot of areas, and Adam probably has grown as much as anybody since he's been here in a lot of different areas. West, yeah. Was this kind of a fitting game for this team to, to earn an SEC championship in a game where it just seemed like it was uphill most of the, most of the way, and just kind of seems like the story of this team, really? Yeah, I mean, it was. It, we knew. It was, I, I mean, again, I can't tell you how much respect I have for Mark Fox and uh, his team, and they. I mean, they play high percentage of basketball and. And uh, so we knew it was going to be tough. And, uh, but uh, I, I thought our guys were locked in, even in the first half. I thought we played good basketball, and I, and I thought they were, were terrific. I do. And I, I walked off the court at halftime thinking, you know, we didn't play bad. They just they were really, really good. But I told our guys, we've got we to gotta grind it out. That's what we do. That's the kind of team we are. And we, you know, uh, we knew we were going to stay under pressure, uh, want to keep trying to run. And all that, and then uh, the last seven, six, eight minutes, got into a possession game, and I thought, you know, for the most part, to be honest with you, guys had to make plays, and we had some guys that made some plays. I mean, they stayed, they, they tried to execute what we did, and a couple times, uh, like Lamonte kept coming over, won't get a run a little screen away where he could go downhill with it, and I get didn't do it, didn't do it, and I finally did, and uh, he went in and he missed the layup, and. Um, but that's what you want. You want your players locked in where they're talking to you, where they seeing they're seeing things, and and um, so, and I felt that tonight. I do. I felt our guys were, were locked in, and, and um, I thought Kyle was really good tonight, and he had a hard one to go with. And Admiral, they went at him a lot there in the, the end. They, you know, they knew that the, I mean, he played a lot of minutes. You know, we took a chance at the first half. You know, we didn't want him to get away from us as well as they were playing by putting him and Admiral back in with two fouls. And uh, the second half, we came out just really saying we're going to go inside and try to get it mating a little bit as much as we could. He's such a terrific player, he's hard to put fouls on. But uh, uh, yeah, this is the kind of game we've played all year. And, you know, we've been able to play different ways and coming down the stretch, different guys. We played through our guards, a couple of possessions, and we went back inside and we went to a set where we were putting Grant and, and Admiral on one side, letting them play and hoping that they didn't have a play that kick out. Lamonte hit a big three off that. and. Uh, and then we, uh, there at the end, we were going to put the ball in AD's hand and made a heck of a play. Right here, then Joe Grant. Coach, this team has never won the title. You've won various titles in your career as a head coach. This team, you know, headed into the season and never really won more than about 500 basketball. What did you tell them heading into this game to prepare for possibly winning a championship? Good, not to have any fear, you know. The, let's go play. It's a basketball game. Let's go play. Let's prepare the same way. They know what they were playing for. You guys made sure of that, and um, and it's fine. I mean, if you want to be a, a team that's there every year, you want to be in this position, and uh, and it's not going to be easy to, to win championships. It's, and it, it, I don't care if you share them or what. It's not easy to be there, and uh, you. Uh, and we talked about again. The, you know, we have a process we go through, and, and uh, we, we went through it again last night. We talked. We, we didn't change anything from one game from that game to this game, and, but we talked about what we have for the last three weeks. Uh, and I actually said to him, "If you want to be a champion, you're in a, You're in a, You know, you got to win now. You can't give. You can't give one away now. And uh, so we're going to lose. Let's make sure somebody beats us. And uh, and they they got locked in. And you go you, you go back to. Uh, Florida game, I thought it was a hard play game here. Then uh, Ole Miss, we were sloppy, but found a way to get it done. You had to leave, let them get back in, but they were able to finish it and had a great effort at Mississippi State. And today, 
Lake Woods again. That, that was a great college basketball game. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's bad, it, you know, it's sad that somebody had to lose. And I, I just love the way our guys fought there at the end and got it done. You know, because you got to give the players credit. They, they fought and they were all just, I said, hey, man, you guys got to make plays on both ends. I don't care if it's uh, post defense, rebounding the ball. You got you to go get it and make plays. And we had different guys do it. Rick, how did this, uh, right here in the middle, yeah. how did this atmosphere compare to the best you've seen in this building, and yeah. how, how, how much did that matter? It, it was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. I tell you how bad, it, how good it was when we, we were going to try to take that clock down lower, and uh, and we got into about the bottom Adam probably eight, ten, probably five, six, seven, some seconds before we wanted to, and then I'd even told uh, them if they entered the ball back towards back back court and they're dribbling the ball and if I tell you to foul, foul so they can't get off the three, but it was so loud they couldn't hear. And uh, but I thought that you know our fans have been great all year. Our fans have been great from the first time I've been here. I mean the last two years we haven't we've had a group of guys that were blue collar guys that worked hard and I and I found out early that, that Tennessee likes that. They like guys that are gonna be just go out and give you everything they have. And uh, but uh, our fans have been great this year. And, uh, you know, someone said a great thing the other day because when we were getting ready to play North Carolina, I talked about the buzz being those teams coming in. And someone said, now we're the buzz. And, and that's, it's a compliment to our players because to have the kind of crowd here today to cap off this uh, final regular season game here at home was tremendous. And that crowd tonight was as good as – I've often said I did – I don't hear it, I heard it. I mean, it, it was great. and. Uh, and I've had so many people tell me that's what it can be like all the time, and, and uh, that's what we want, but we've got to keep doing our part. Catch up with Grant. What is it about Lamonte in those big moments when he takes those big shots and hits them? Why is, why is he a guy that can step up right there? Well, because, you know, he, again, I will go back, you know, arguably he and, he and uh, Admiral put more time in the gym than any players on the team. And they're, they're competitors, you know, they, they are. They, they're, they're, you know, I don't tell them that often, but coach, coaches do, you know, I tell them. You know, I want to see more, but uh, I, I know they are, and I, and uh, we were on the bench, and that's why we decided to go with him at the point at the end. We just felt like, uh, you know, he showed us that that he's he's the one he's not afraid to. And I got on him at halftime. I told him he took three bad shots, and I said I want to see you play defense, and he and he'll bounce back, and uh, and he can take it. He can he can take hard coaching, but uh, as a staff, we know that he's he's not afraid to he's not afraid of the big moment. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you, guys. Appreciate you all.